Greetings to you all, ladies and gentlemen. This is uh, Mathematics. And this video, we want to look at some questions that you save as revision. Okay, this is taken from 2024 GCE, and we want to consider paper one. Now, always remember that paper one will not allow you to use a calculator. And uh, this paper is an important paper if at all you want to pass mathematics. So listen carefully, listen and listen good. Okay? The first question says evaluate 8 over 27 raised to the power 2 over 3. Now, in paper 1, you must understand one, the stem of the question, the topic from which the question is coming from, and the number of marks being allocated. So in this case, the stem here says evaluate, meaning you should find the exact value of this question without using a calculator. And you should do so by showing your method. Space will be given to you where you need to do the calculations because that method that you're going to show will attract marks. There's always a condition. Instructions given to candidates that says omission of essential working will result in loss of marks. So you should always be able to show so that as the marking is done at the marking center, those things are solved. So this is the stem, this is the question, and the number of marks is given. Now I know this time around when you are doing revisions, you want to be going through past papers, which is fine, very fine, because you've covered the topics. Now you want to see if at all you have understood. By going through past papers, um, that is okay. But you need to be very careful as you are going through past papers. What I mean by that is questions are not repeated exactly the way they are. What is just repeated exactly the way they are are the topics. For example, this question, question number one, is coming from which topic? 8 over 27 raised to the power 2 over 3. By this time around, you should be able to identify each question that this question is from this topic. So this one, these are what we call indices. The question is coming from indices. Agreed? So you're going to find indices in the exam. It's there. Yes, I can confirm, it's there. But the way it has been asked, it's not like this. You get the point? This is where I want you to understand as you are going through past papers. How do you go about it? Well, this is the question. This is the number of marks. What I'll do is this, as I'm revising, Say so, okay, under indices, when I'm given 8 over 27 to the power 2 over 3, it can be a fraction, it can be a whole number, it can be a negative. But what's the procedure? If it is a fraction like this, I'll say the numerator, the top number, is always called power, then this one is root. Okay? Now, because we've written this word here, root, we are going to write the entire thing here in another way. Root, root is like this. Then what I have here should be inside, 8 over 27. Okay? Power says what? 2. Power, 2 here, outside. Then the root is 3, meaning the root will be here. I see that. As you are revising as well, ask yourself, 
What if I've been given it in this way? Can I take it back like that? Those are some of the questions you should be asking yourself. What if a negative is introduced here? What happens? It means I should swap whatever I have here. Is that? That is for a negative part. Then the rest remains the same. So here, I've got cube root of 8 over 27. Then I should square it. I'm going to separate this. It will be cube root of 8 over cube root of 27. Like this. Remember there is it. Then, cube root of 8. I'm talking about a number. I can multiply itself three times and it should give me 8. What number will be that? It's 2. Because 2 times 2, 2 times 2 times 2 will give me 8. So, cube root of 8 is 2. Over. What will be the cube root of 27? Number you can multiply itself three times and it should be able to give you 27. That will be 3. This will give us 8. 3 by 3 by 3 will give us 27. You're doing it without the calculator. Remember, there's a power outside 2. Then this power is affecting both numbers here. So it will be 2 to the power 2, which is 2 times 2, will give me a 4 over 3 squared. This means 3 times 3, not 3 times 2, no, but 3 times 3, and that will be a 9. At this point, you have answered this. You have given the exact value of what we have here. If you use a calculator, this is the answer it will be able to display. So in the allocation of marks here, what we usually do is to go through the method that you've provided, we'll be able to give you a mark for that. Is that not right? It's fine, right? So we'll be able to say, okay, there is what is called method mark. Method mark one, and the answer mark will also be given as one there. You have the total. And always remember that the exam questions are prepared in a sequence. So do not fail the first questions. If it's math paper one, don't fail the first ten, first seven, don't do that. We are talking about what we call Bloom's taxonomy. So that's the way the preparation of exam is. So you get that as your answer. So as you are revising, you are even saying, okay, if it is like this, I'll still be able to get it. Under indices, you even give yourself some questions to say, okay, let me try to find this and this. Not worry, but you answer it exactly the way it is. No, I've revised. No, it's not like that. We don't do that. So you're done with that. We have the second one. Simplify. Four. In brackets, we have x minus two plus three, two x minus three, two max given. So, okay, what have I been told here to simplify? Reduce the number of terms. That is to simplify. You are not evaluating. You are not solving. You see that? So it's okay. How am I going to simplify this? You look at the question itself and remember everything you've learned under this topic. This is algebra. This is algebra. Say, so, oh, simplification has to do with like terms, the addition of like terms. You remember, you gather all those things. If there are brackets, that is your starting point. If the question has got brackets, they are telling you that start from there. So we are going to get rid of the brackets here. So we have 4 multiplied by x. We are going to get 4x. Minus 4 multiplied by 2. We are getting 8. 
plus 3. So at this point, brackets have gone. 3 multiplied by 2, we are getting 6. There's x here. This positive and negative here must be multiplied, and the result will be minus. Then 3 times 3 is 9. Just take your time in your exam. Then at this point, I can say 4x minus 8 minus 8 plus 6x minus 9. I'm going to ask myself, what should I do? Connection of like terms, because I'm simplifying. So those with x will be 4x, then the other pair is here, plus 6x, then minus 8, minus 9. See that? Like terms can be added. That is what algebra says. You can add like terms. So I've got 4x, 6x. Let me add, and the result will be 10x. These also are like terms. I can add negative 8, negative 9. Same signs add. What is 8 plus 9? 17. Get the result, or the answer will be from the bigger number. The sign should be from the bigger number. So this will give me negative 17. What next? These two are not like terms. And the algebra says you can't add unlike terms. So this is your final answer. You get your answer mark here. One, by providing the method, we also give you a one there. You're getting. You're getting. Why should you say it's difficult to pass the exam? It's just certain things you don't know what happens okay and this is what i'm teaching you three solve the equation i see that here this is the stem now you are solving we want to know the value of x so that when we replace where there is x we should be able to get a zero here two marks was given as well so we have 3x minus 5, we have x plus 2 is equal to 0. Now, equations are in types. You need to know that. Identify the type here. What type of equation is this? Is this an exponential equation, linear equation, quadratic equation? There are so many types of equations. When you remember the type, you will see that you will be able to understand what they want. So these, this is from the equations, huh? They are from equations, the questions from equations. Now what type of equation? This is a quadratic. This is a quadratic equation. This is a quadratic equation. Under quadratic equation, I should find two values of x in this case. I have this pair. I also have another pair. Equated to zero, there is no need. There is no need of you start expanding this. No need of expanding. Why? Because it is equated to zero. Unless if it was equated to any other number, yes, you have no option but to expand but as long as it is equated to 0, just to get the first one, 3x minus 5 equates to 0. Get the second pair, x plus 2 equates to 0. Please do this only if the equation is equated to 0. If you've got brackets like this equated to 0, just separate the two. But if there was any number here, say 1, negative 10, what and what, you need to start multiplying, you are expanding this, you multiply, you multiply, until you form a quadratic equation. Then you can either use methods of solving quadratic equations using a quadratic formula. You can also factorize if it 
the equation is able to be factorized. But in this case, just do this. Then the, the two equations becomes linear. So here I'll be able to say on the left hand side, I just want to remain with 3x is equal to 0. This is negative 5. What will happen? It will change the sign to positive 5. Then 3x will be equal to 5. To remain with x, divide by 3, divide by 3, cancel this. x is equal to 5 over 3. You can leave it at that point, or you can simply say um, how many 3s are in 5? 1. What will be the remainder? 2 over 3. You can write it in mixed fraction as well, or this one. Is that clear? On the other side, you do the same. X is equal to 0. This positive will be negative 2. Then X is equal to negative 2. So these are the two answers for this equation. So we have answer mark here, 1. We also have answer mark here, 1. You're getting questions like that. So you are going to find topics that I'm going to teach you. They, were, they are there, only numbers, and the way the questions have been asked will be different. But as long as you get my concept here, those will be just walk over. Get it? So this is not where we're going to end. If you want to learn more of everything, you need to join our groups now. Okay? Don't delay. So we are doing revisions in mathematics, English language, biology, science, physics, chemistry, and those who are doing or who are taking additional mathematics. You are all welcome at an affordable, affordable fee. So I'll be able to put my number there. You do the native immediately and you'll be added to the course. You will be able to learn within the remaining short period of time. You are all welcome. Please, this is my number. So you can contact me on this one. 0777-448-440. Okay? Don't hesitate. You will be able to learn everything within this remaining period of time. I'll be waiting for you to join and you'll be able to see the transformation. This is where I should be able to say I end. But before I go, remember to share the video so that your friends can also learn something. Follow me on TikTok. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and everything will be fine. Bye-bye.